Hey ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America. And yes, former President Donald Trump can go to prison as soon as today. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out and they help our channel continue to grow. And we've got a new feature. You can get exclusive member videos every week for just 99 cents a month. All you got to do is go below this video, hit the join button to join our channel, less than a dollar a month, and you're going to get exclusive videos that nobody else on YouTube can see. So yes, Trump can go to prison today. In fact, it's gone so far that the Secret Service has met with officials in New York to talk about contingency plans, what they would have to do if Trump is sent to prison by Judge Juan Mershon. Now, it looks to me like Judge Mershon wants a conviction any way he can get it. His jury instructions kind of show that where he tells them, hey, look, you don't have to find him guilty on the same crime. Four of you can find him guilty on one, four on another, and four on another, and I'll treat that as a unanimous verdict. Well, nowhere in the world, well, at least in America, is that done. They're literally inventing stuff for this trial to get Trump convicted. But the fact is, there's two options here, and both are bad for Trump if he's convicted. One is jail. I don't think that's going to happen, but the contingency plans have been made by the Secret Service. No doubt about it. They are looking at that as a real possibility. And this judge is not a normal judge, so it is possible. But the other thing he can do, and this will make him a hero to Democrats, he could sentence Trump to home confinement, home prison, basically. And that would take him off the campaign trail. Trump could no longer campaign for president. He'd have to do it from his house, kind of like Joe Biden did in 2020, right? Except they would be really handcuffing him. And they think that would be a victory. But I think, oh, I think that would be the greatest thing to happen to Donald Trump. I think you would see a turnout at the polls like you've never seen before. He would win states that you would not believe he could ever win. I think it would be absolutely a victory for him if he's given home confinement. If he spins it the right way and he tells the people, hey, look, they are handcuffing me here, which is true. They are trying to handicap me here, which is true. I think you'll see a surge at the polls for him like you never thought could happen. I want you to watch this report on it, however, because it's important to know all the facts. Once you watch this report, it's very quick. I want you to then give me your comments in the comments section. And again, hit that join button. Help us grow. We really appreciate it, guys. Take a look. So there's an article in the Washington Post, and it's questioning if Trump is convicted, what happens to him? It that says, is the key. This is the biggest right. question. Yeah, it says it's punishable by 16 months to four years. So the question is, would he go to prison? Right. The legal experts say probably not. That's unlikely. If he did, Secret Service has to protect him for the rest of his life because he was a sitting president. And the question is, would they allow him, if it's home confinement, could he continue to campaign? I, I just, How can he? I if just, you're in home confinement, home confinement. I, I just think the whole idea that we're having this conversation when it comes to the former president for even if you say he is guilty let's say you're that one in a million mm -hmm. person that says that the, that the prosecution came up with a crime here. even though there's no evidence even okay. though there's no evidence but let's roll with it for a second you got people that are jack carjacking people in this city pushing people in the subway um, and they're back on the street yep. so how can you justify putting the former president in prison for 40 years when you have a city that is in utter chaos. I mean, that was the most interesting right. thing uh, that the actor said yesterday is that Donald Trump is going to break this city. Excuse me? The city is already broken. Illegal right. immigrants right. Flipping, right. Off, flipping off the well, cameras when let, they let, get back let, out on the street after beating up cops. Well, let's just look at the scenario. So, number one, it's going to be the judge, judge sentencing. And I understand the judge could turn Talk around immediately as soon as the jury turns out. And you could have, he says, 34 counts, right? He could, they could say, we find he's guilty on X amount of counts, too. Right. He doesn't say, okay, 30 of 34. It could say 2 of 34. And then the judge has got to take that in, and he's got to decide on sentencing. But it's not going to be in 30 days. He's going to, he could decide right there yeah. if he wanted. And then what's he looking at? Well, they say it's a Class E felony, punishable by 60 months to four years in prison. Okay, fine. But he's 77 years old without any priors. Why would he possibly For be looking? For each count. Right. Right, that's a good point. It's up to 20 years. So, so how could he possibly be looking at prison if precedent means anything here, especially when you're still trying to figure out the unprecedented charges against right. a former president? So, so ultimately, he's going to decide if he's found guilty, probation or up to four years for this particular case.